Look at this beauty. Now this was actually a surrender that came to us. It's a three year old. Um, we haven't probed it yet, so we don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Um, by the looks of it, it kind of looks like a male, but I am unsure yet, but I will get to it at some point. Um, one of the issues that we're having though is trying to identify what morph it is. Hi everyone, my name is James and you're watching Blue Dog Reptiles. Now, it has a little bit of an attitude issue, but that's okay. We love all of our noodles all the same. And it loves to redecorate and make a mess of its bin, which we're going to clean today. But as you, as you can see, and it, when it came to us, it was in uh, shed, and so it was really hard to see the color pattern. But you can see it now the way I don't know. It kind of looks like a cinnamon, but I don't breed ball pythons. And so morphs to me are harder to tell. Um, let's see if, oh, I know, so sassy. The belly is completely white, but it might have like a case of like yellow belly, but typically yellow bellies have more um, yellow underneath but I just can't get over the coloration. Um, I wanted to reach out to you guys and to some of our ball python breeders to let us know kind of what you guys think, what morph it is. Uh, we are gonna send off a couple of pictures to a friend to see if they can help us. Oh, I know, so sassy. Um, what morph this is, because obviously we don't want to misidentify what this one is and um, in case someone wants to breed it in the future. Which, with that being said, how long do ball pythons breed? Like, how old can they be? Because, like, we have a 10-year-old one down here, but I think that's too old. But, I don't know. If you know, let us know down in the comments. But, yeah, I mean, look at that. It's just absolutely beautiful color. This one hasn't eaten for us yet, but it's, it's only been with us for about a week, so I'm not surprised. Um... Typically, when you get a new snake in, we don't feed them for the, the first week because we know that they're stressed or they're cold or whatnot. And so typically they don't eat, especially when they're being introduced into a new environment. Um, no, you're not gonna bite me. I'm not food. I tried offering you food yesterday, but no, someone didn't wanna eat. We are gonna offer food to her again tomorrow to see if she'll take one, but um, typically we start immediately on frozen thawed and um, we'll give them like a snake this size can easily go a few weeks without eating without it being an issue um, but look at that head pattern that's really cool um, but we obviously um, all of our animals we make sure eat before we let them find homes and typically we give them a couple of meals um, so but yeah, let us know if you guys know what morph this is. Um, it, we would greatly appreciate it. And because he was a surrender, he needs a name. So help us come up with a name. Um, again, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. So, oh yes, we're talking about you. Yes. Yeah. Are you going to come see the camera? You look so angry. <laughs> look at that pattern down the face. Yeah. I don't know, guys. Let us know what you guys think. Um, a big thank you to all the new subscribers. You guys are absolutely amazing. Um, we are going to be setting up a Patreon. Um, and we have some big news here coming up soon. So if you guys would like to support us on that, um, let us know. If, uh, and uh, we'll get the Patreon going. Because um, these guys, especially with a lot of surrenders, I can't say no to animals. Um, and I want to make sure that they could go to good and healthy homes. Um, but... As you all know, that can be a very expensive ordeal, um, especially when you have a snake this size. It's, it's one thing when you have like a baby snake and he's eating like extra small pinkies. Okay, that's you know, not expensive. But when someone's eating a small rat, that adds up after a while. So not to mention you have to put them in a bigger bin and all that. But yeah, let us know your guys' thoughts down in the comments. And uh, if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. And um, 
I am going to try to put out a video uh, for Friday. My baby is due on Friday. So I'm going to try to get all videos posted before she's induced, but we will see. <laughs> As always, guys, thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys next time.